My hair looks insane right now because the Florida humidity is just already getting up in there. Hi, we have arrived at the yearly traditional condo in Florida. This is my second year. Last year, <laughs> I vlogged the October week in Florida and it was literally one of the best weeks ever. And <laughs> I lost all the footage after I got back and it's just trapped in an SD card. And it cost, why are you, what is that? It costs $1,700 to get back, and I'm not that rich, so. So yeah, we're back. We got a Chrysler as the rental car. Are you kidding me? It's so nice and pretty. Like, what? I need a hat. I forgot my Mickey Mouse hat. Oh, we're in Orlando, Florida, by the way. Last time I was here was Playlist Live. <sighs> we all know how that went. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna like fully vlog this trip. Maybe I will. I guess I will. I mean, it's my job. <laughs> I didn't really vlog yesterday when we got here, so let me just explain. We got here, we left Minnesota, and now we're here. October is a trek month. I don't know if that's the right wordage. We left Minnesota at four in the morning, flew from the small town in Minnesota to Minneapolis. Then from Minneapolis, we flew to Orlando, and we landed about like 12 p.m. And then we got our rental car, which is a Chrysler. Yeah! It's so fancy and nice. Look at us go. Look at us go. We packed for Minnesota, Florida, and Nashville. That's three different weather types. And I always pack so much shit, so it was so hard for me. I forgot a hat. But anyway, it's so hot and humid here, and I didn't pack enough Florida clothes. I packed plenty for Minnesota. So much jackets and shit. And here it's like 90 degrees. It's 91 degrees. And I'm wearing a shirt that says straight to Vegas with some sweat shorts. Like what? Like I didn't bring any clothes. So now we're back at the condo that we were at a year ago that you didn't ever get to see because I lost all the footage to it. And we're gonna be here for a week, some friends are coming, and it's gonna be a blast. Welcome to the year two condo October Orlando vlog edition. Yeah, that was good, Tyrell, that was good. Orlando, Florida. <laughs> Florida just creeps me out. Like when you're driving on the freeway, you look over and it's just a swamp next to you. And then a swamp on the other side. I mean, there is palm trees, I, I love palm trees. But there's just, it's just a swamp and it freaks me out. I need a Red Bull. I have one, but I'm gonna wait. I have Ben and Jerry's ice cream in the car right now that's just melting away. It's cookie dough, yum, I should eat it right now. Oh! Yesterday we went to Wawa, which if you don't know, it's like a gas station, but it's it's more than just a gas station. And I was so hungry, so I got a buffalo chicken quesadilla, a six inch turkey sandwich thing, and then chipotle mac and cheese. Ah, oh, So, so delicious. Then we stayed at the hotel and watched Keeping Up with the Kardashians, and then we went to Disney Springs, to the movie theater. We watched Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back. I did fall asleep in the movie theater, so we did that, and then had crepes for dinner. Then I woke up at 1 p.m. to change into my straight to Vegas t-shirt to check out of that hotel to arrive here. And that's where we are now. I'm also breaking out. I don't know if the Florida humidity is gonna make that better or worse. It's definitely making my hair worse, so. <laughs> We get to the room and I'm just feeling all the memories from last year. I'm just so excited to be back. Ooh. Okay. Ah. Yeah, this is just like an exact replica of last year. We get eight gift cards. What are my gift cards? I mean, not gift cards. Please tell me you're recording. <laughs> Those are key cards. That's what I meant. The condo is a gift, and we get to use the keys to get into our gift. Firstly, my Ben and Jerry's needs to go back into the freezer. And 
my Red Bulls back into the fridge. Actually, I think I'm gonna drink one more. Of course, there's just like a separate swamp right by the pool. Disgusting. Why don't they just make that the pool? Swim in the natural Florida swamp waters. There's probably three alligators in there. I hate black rims and a black fox. You hate the black rims? Yeah. Why? I didn't even notice there was black rims until just now. After looking at our condo for the week and putting all our luggage away, we were starving. So we went to Panera, got my uh, chicken avocado Chipotle melt, so good. I always do the sandwich salad half meal situation um, or a soup, but it's so hot in Florida, so I'm not getting soup. She can't clap without her hands, and I don't want that bitch. I feel like <laughs> that was so bad. <laughs> My hair. We're going to Dollar Tree. Like, what is happening? Holy fuck, I can't believe I just went into Panera looking like that. So every year we're at the condo, we decorate. So we're going to Dollar Tree to get Halloween decorations to decorate the condo. That'll be fun. And then we're gonna go grocery shopping. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we're going grocery shopping too. All the fun stuff before everyone else gets here, we get to do. And then um, I'm gonna probably take a nap. Every time we're in Florida, it randomly just pours. Oh my god. Oh my god. Kelly came out of nowhere. Really Like just so hard. And it doesn't last that long either. <laughs> it just happens. I have no idea how to use these windshield wiper. Florida's not a real place, I'm telling you. Oh, where'd it go? Like it literally just stops. So we get to Dollar Tree to start decorating our condo and Hunter just is grabbing everything in sight. But everything's a dollar, right? So it doesn't really matter unless you grab 40 things and that's $40. Wait, now it's so hot. What the fuck? Oh. Get some Oreos. Just the regular. Oh, it's expensive. Yeah, it's 408 for Oreos. I feel like that's not like... Can we just do these ones? Yeah. I feel like I've never seen an Oreo be $4.08 in my life. We get all of our grocery shopping done, and the first thing I do is find a store where there's a hat. The floral humidity in my hair, they're not vibing. Luckily, there's a Nike factory store right next to our condo. What are you doing at the Nike factory outlet store? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Florida man. I finally got a hat to control this mane that's going on. So we just got back from the grocery store. Yeah! And we wanted to make it back in one trip, right? So we're holding all the bags, the water, the eggs, everything, right? So I was holding the milk, the water, the eggs, the Nike bag, and I make it all the way up here. It's the sixth floor. I make it all the way through, and I put the milk down and my drink, and my drink just tips over and gets everywhere. So now my $3 drink has been wasted. Not to mention that it's still all over myself. So. I caved in and we took a nap because we were so tired after waking up at 1 p.m. After we woke up, we immediately got to Halloween decorating. <laughs> a couple hours later and we're done decorating. Now we're bored and our friends aren't here yet, so we decided to go see a movie. It's not in here! I can't find my mask anywhere. <laughs> or so I thought because I found it five seconds after. What a fit. Just kidding. We're going to Coco. I've actually never seen it before and I heard that it was... 
Um, I mean, it was really sad. So I met a lot of people cry during it. They do cry during it. So did you cry? Did you cry watching it? No. Can we get crepes? I don't know. Maybe. Did you cry watching Coco? I need to know. Gonna get the fucking sign this time. Yeehaw! We're the only ones in this room. There were two other people in the movie theater, which which was great. When Coco plays, I can cry in peace, and no one will see me. See, might not look like much. At this AMC movie theater in Disney Springs, they wait on you. I ordered nachos and Hunger Girl Mozzarella sticks. They were so good. I just ate them as I watched the movie. It was a great time. It's gonna fly off a little bit though. Wow. I'm a horrible driver, so because I'm. Is that it again? Oh, it's a crane. Is that a crane? Mm. On the way to the movie theater, we found this giant thing in the sky, and we could not figure out what it was because it was dark. Once we left the movie, it was still there. We can't figure out what this weird giant thing in the sky is. I don't- it's- is it moving or not? Like, I cannot tell if it's moving or not. What the fuck is this thing in the sky? And it's been there- oh, it's a blimp! It's is the it? Goodyear blimp! Is it? Yeah. Why is it in the same spot? As... Cause it's a blimp, it floats. But it doesn't, like, move? It's definitely the Goodyear blimp. I don't know why it's still there. We were in, like, a movie for two hours. <laughs> what the fuck? So, that movie was literally so sad. My eyes hurt from crying. I ended up crying too, like, what? We saw Coco, did we tell him that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. It was so good though. Like, actually though, like, that was really cute. I love Coco. That was a really cute movie. I want, oh my god, you have ice cream in the freezer, don't you? Mm -hmm. I can't believe we, we kind of spent a lot of money on dinner there. We ate, it was like a dine-in theater, so like I got I spent, mozzarella triangles. I spent $17 on nachos. Plus the $5 drink. The $5 large drink. We got a free popcorn for my birthday though, <laughs> which I don't think she even like took off. Ty, I made Ty sign up for the movie pass because we've gone to two movies in two days. So I was like, are you going to get this because we're not paying for these anymore? Even though we are. Oh. <laughs> I gotta grab it. <laughs> Let's go, the wheel. My thighs have to hold both cups because they don't fit in there. Shouldn't have skipped your leg day. This is my leg day. Today we slept in, we don't really have anything planned besides we were picking up our friend Tori at the airport and meeting up with a friend, Carolina, who lives in Florida. gonna say. I don't know what happened in the last two days, but it, it does not really smell, bad. smell good anymore. Oh god. Like really bad. What happened to our masks? I don't know. We sneezed in them. I didn't do that. I sneezed in yours. Cool. No, it's probably the humidity. Like, we made a noise in that. Ooh, maybe. Ooh, that's disgusting. We're on our way to pick up Tori, and Carolina is here as well now. So, the party's- it's- it's starting, officially. They're not a party. It's not a party, though. <laughs> Right after we picked Tori up, we headed straight to Chick-fil-A because we were all starving. Because it was like almost 5 p.m. at this point because we woke up at 3. So this is like our lunch at 5 p.m. See how the swamp's doing today? Oh my god, it's like foggy out here. Like that's how moist it is. It's literally fogging up. Hi, um, Tori and Carolina are here, and Ilana just got here, I think. And guess what we're doing again? You won't even, you won't even believe it. We're seeing another movie. Since I got a movie pass, though, it's for free now. We're seeing Shrek. So I think, Jesus. So I think that's gonna be really fun. That's it. I'm putting pants on right now. Why is there a scene right there? I actually don't think I'm gonna wear these greasy pants. We're gonna go for these instead. Alana and Allie get to the condo and we decide to go see Shrek and then our plan was to go after the movie to this little coffee bar, which is basically just like a coffee shop that serves alcohol. But for me, I would just be getting served coffee because I'm the only person in the group who is underage. Carolina said that there was this cool coffee cocktail bar. What sucks is that I'm the only one here under 21 years of age. So, I can't go. 
So we all leave the condo to go see Shrek. There's six of us right now. So we're driving in separate cars to Disney Springs and it's packed. The line to drive in to Disney Springs, much longer than last night's movie visit. Hunter did not want to wait in that line to turn left. So he thought it would be a good idea to get out of the line and drive all the way around this corner to U-turn and then go back on that road to turn right to turn in, since most people were in line right there to turn left to go in. We found out not too long after that, that choice was even worse. Hi, so we drove past and we're turning left on Lake Buena Vista Drive right now. And it's looking like this is just like an equally bad idea. Okay. Like, almost to the point you where... Um, I can't do that. So yeah. I don't really know. We'll find you. Yeah, so what I just did was a, a really bad idea because <laughs> this is not... Yeah, so I guess maybe just stay and try and it looks like we're probably gonna miss the whole movie though. We're trying to figure out how to get into Disney Springs so we can watch Shrek, but it's just not working out. Do they have a parking garage in front of the um, House of Blue Clothes? Is that closed? Yeah, that surface parking's closed. Yes. Yeah. Where are we? Like, best of luck to both of us. And, um, uh, right now. Yeah. Sh okay. Shrek did not end up working out because Disney Springs was at max capacity. So we drove back to the condo, and Allie ended up teaching the rest of us how to play Among Us. So, what happens if you're the chosen one? Oh, shit. It'll show you. You'll figure it out. There's only us four in it, though? Yeah, I just want to show you guys how to play it. Okay. So, Basically, oh what you guys do is like, go do those, so like, click the map right there at the top right. Okay, I see it. Really? Yeah. Oh shit. I have to go to the exclamation point to do this. Yeah, path. go to the exclamation point to do this. So we played Among Us for like about an hour. Let's go. Fuck. Does this go on forever then until someone guesses? No, you have to finish the tasks. Damn it. Um, <gasps> ah! Who calls in? I did. Why? Because all of us vote right. It can be Silky or Rhea or Yellow. What if it with her? Oh fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Hunter, stop calling for dinner. Or wait. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Yellow bitch. Is... Did she kill you? She killed me. What a little bitch. We all decided to go to Applebee's for dinner. After Applebee's, we went to downtown Orlando to check out this coffee bar that Carolina was talking to us about. We did not stay there very long. We all got ourselves a drink and then left right after. We made a stop at Wawa and went back to our room. Hi, I'm back on our little balcony with the locked in windows and it feels like a sauna in here. But it's 2.30 in the morning, so Shrek didn't happen. And then we came back here and then we were like, we should eat somewhere. So we went to Applebee's. And then after that, we went to the coffee bar. The drink that I had was like $12. So I was like, okay, I'm like too poor to get more. We ended up leaving pretty quickly. Most of us came back. And now it's 2.30. I feel like time in Florida always goes by so weird because it does not feel like 2.30 right now. As I'm out on the moist, wet balcony, Hunter locks me up. Am I surprised? No. But I am locked in this moisture-filled humidity room outside at 3 in the morning. The door handle's literally wet from moisture. I guess I'm sleeping out here tonight. After messing with me for about five minutes, Hunter let me in. Oh, it feels so much better in here. That was disgusting. Crazy. And then proceeded to scare me as I walked back in the condo. Why? It never ends. But now, everyone's going to bed. Well, the people that are actually here. Tomorrow we're going to Epcot, which is going to be so fun. They have the Food and Wine Festival at Epcot, where basically you go around the world and get like mini entrees and drinks, obviously. I'm the only one who's not 21, so... It's illegal for me to do it here. I had my first illegal drink, like in an actual coffee slash cocktail bar, but the little mini appetizers are still so good. So I'm excited for that. We're actually going pretty early, I think, which is bizarre because it's almost three in the morning and I don't know if I like that. We get up earlier than normal, I grab my Red Bull, and me, Hunter, and Tori head to Epcot for the day. We're gonna meet up with Allie and basically just spend the whole day there. Ah! <laughs> I'm 
feeling so pumped for all the good food I'm about to eat, all the different types of food I'm about to eat, just for a fun day. It's so nice because as you're waiting in line, as we're walking, there's these marked signs on the floor that are like six feet apart. They're so strict. You and your group never even come close to anyone else. And it's amazing. We get there and immediately go on rides like Soren and the Finding Nemo ride. And we're basically just making a loop around the whole entire Epcot thing. <laughs> To all of our surprise, as we're walking outside, it just randomly starts pouring on us. As Florida likes to do, us four immediately run for the nearest shelter nearby that has a roof that's not gonna get us soaking wet. The closest thing to us ended up being the Imagination Institute, so we ended up going on that ride. Imagination. Super imaginative, really got my brain um, sparkling. It got my imagination going. We walk out of the Imagination Institute and it's not raining anymore. Like, of course it's not raining anymore. We keep walking and we see Joy from inside out alone in a giant field, just dancing around. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny to me. It was the best thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. We're just standing at this fence watching Joy. She's just roaming around prancing. <laughs> this occupation would be top five list of jobs for me to have. I think this is my dream job actually. <laughs> Bye, Joy. We hung out with Joy for at least 10 minutes, and then we decided that we were all hungry, so we were finally gonna start going towards the Epcot Food and Wine Festival around the world to eat $8 appetizers from each country. <laughs> Is it good? Wow. The banana cider was delicious. More and more countries, more and more food, more and more money being taken away from my debit card. I want to get bold. When you speak, angel, sing from above. Every day would seem, turn into love song. As we're going around the world, we find a boba place right before the frozen ride. So we got ourselves some boba and waited a good hour for the frozen ride. In the prime time heat of the day, you're you're just sweating your ass off. I don't know what he's doing. Careful. Careful. I'm just walking. It's so hot. <laughs> Oh my gosh, there's a ladybug. That's crazy. Is it alive? Yeah, I saw it flying. Where'd you find it? On a leaf. Mm. Yeah? We finally get in the air-conditioned inside part of the line, which boosted my spirit at least 10 times higher. Our legs are still so tired. It's almost the end of the day at this point. We're almost done with our activities and we're just waiting in this hour long frozen line, almost reaching our breaking points. We finally get on our frozen ride. So cute. We have a couple more rides to go on, go around through our last couple countries, and then we're done for the night. Performance testing.
starting to get dark outside. The sunset's happening and we're just staring at it across this lake. And I'm just feeling so like blessed and grateful for life. I don't know, it's scary. Realistically, I could get tacos at a street taco place for less than a dollar a taco. They would taste better than the six dollar taco appetizer in Epcot's Food and Wine Festival. But I think the experience of just going around each country and getting little appetizers from there if you want to is just so fun. If I could choose a favorite, ugh, it's hard. I would, it would be between I would say, I would say in between Italy and China and this buffalo mac and cheese in Canada, probably the best thing of the day, honestly. As we've made a full circle around back to the big Epcot ball, is that, is that what people call it, the Epcot ball? We hop on our last ride of the night, our final destination, and then we say goodbye. Epcot. My legs are fucking tired. I'm gonna take the fattest shower and wipe all of this moist, disgusting swampness off of me. And then I'm gonna get my PJs and eat my Ben and Jerry's ice cream that's in the freezer. Should we fill that wheelchair? Where? Over there. <laughs> Just sitting there. Wow. My body hurt many times everywhere. All right, day four of Orlando. Have we been here for four days? Yeah. What? Oh, hold on. I actually don't know where I'm going because I don't like to use my GPS anywhere because I like knowing where I'm going, but sometimes I don't. I like knowing where I'm going. But I do now. I don't actually know, but like, I guarantee if anyone's gonna get us there, it's gonna be me out of the two of us in this car. I just type in the GPS and yeah, then you know what? Here we are, we're right, I'm right. Can we talk about how... Oh my God, I know. T, do you wanna map us? Now your ass wants a GPS. Well, I don't know where we are. Really fast. I need a map really, really fast. Like, like so fast. Oh. Wait, one second, one second. Condo? I just vacation, <laughs> vacation village, vacation village. Oh my god. I not be searching condo. Hurry, 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 hurry. Okay, you go straight. Okay, okay, hi bonk. Sorry, we were about to fucking take a wrong turn. Oh, I mean, I've kind of had them for a long time considering she's just useless, but. <laughs> <laughs> Bianca's gonna choke. Wait, why did you turn the GPS off? I did I? Oh my god, I did. Useless, Tyrell. Well, gay people hell? are usually useless, so. Wait, Ty, can you hold this? I'm driving. Bye. You can't even fucking see me. Also, Bianca, I can honestly say that the banana cider was the only thing I liked today out of drinks. That's really disappointing. Yeah, it's actually extremely disappointing. We're stopping for ice cream quick, and then we're gonna be at home, and then Carolina's leaving, and then we're probably gonna do nothing. So after we shower, we will text you, and then let's FaceTime when we get back to the apartment. Okay, I'll do whatever. Okay, okay bye. 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 <laughs> On our way back to the condo, Hunter pulls in the Twisty Tree, which is this ice cream drive through place that's right next to the condo. And it has now become tradition to go there. Oh my god, what do you want? Definitely getting a sundae. I'm really blind. Okay. I have cookie dough ice cream at home, so I'm not gonna do that. But well, I'm really blind. I feel like I have to do hot cup sundae. I'm gonna do a mix of vanilla and strawberry waffle cone. Medium. Wait, which two flavors? Strawberry and vanilla. Okay, cool. Can I do a large strawberry vanilla waffle cone? I said medium, you bitch. Yep. Any toppings? Okay. May I please do a hot fudge sundae, uh, a large one? Do you guys have root beer? Just like as a drink? Yes, we have cans of root beer. Uh, can I get two of those, please? And then that's everything. Can I have your part? I know, it'll be 13 at the window. Thank you. <laughs> 
Question. Do you have a house key? No. It's gotta be... Oh my god, it's already melting. I don't know if we have a house key. We're not gonna be able to get in. <laughs> Fuck, this is good. Everyone in that apartment's gonna be like pissed. Where's my ice cream? Sorry. Sorry, you're poor. That's why I didn't come to Disney today. Tyrell's just like, I can't put any of this in the fucking vlog. We get back at the condo and we can't find the room key. Any room key. Anywhere. Hunter's trying to call anyone who's staying with us to see if they're at the condo, if they have a key, if they can let us in, anything. Hello. Hello? Hey, are you still here? Okay, so you're not at the condo right now? Oh. We're getting nowhere. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> My twisty treat is melting in my hand because of the Florida humidity that we're just standing outside in because we can't get into the condo. Okay, no worries. Maybe Tori has a key. If not, I'll just go grab one from the desk. Okay, bye. Allie and Tori aren't at the apartment yet, so we have to go to the lobby and get a new key. Hey. let's try this again. We made it back into our condo and I was able to put my melted ice cream in the freezer. I immediately took a big shit right when I got back. All those different foods from all those different countries, they must have not mixed very well in my stomach. You know that. Everyone else got back to the condo and we played some more Among Us. Just hung out until Alana had to drive back home. We tried to convince her to stay, but we convinced Carolina to stay another night. It's 2 a.m. and me, Hunter, Carolina, and Tori decided to get Wendy's. There's also a Wendy's right next to the condo. There's been a few occurrences where we've randomly made an appearance at 2 a.m. Because it's just there. It's right there for us when we need her most. Two in the morning. We all sleep in the next day and we decided to go to Peiwei for lunch. Carolina left and me, Tori, and Hunter just sat on the couch all day. <laughs> We sat on the couch doing nothing for a, f a few hours, and then Eva came, and we went and got Chipotle for dinner. We're going to the arcade in the building. <laughs> we saw that there was an arcade inside of our resort, so we wanted to go check it out and see what it was all about. The arcade was so cool. You opened the door, and it was glowing immediately. True arcade vibes. Ooh, this is a vibe. Very. so fast in a round of Connect Four in my life. I'm literally gonna end my life, I can't. I was not, and I knew that that was gonna, oh my Whoa. god. So embarrassing. Shut up, I'm so stupid. One thousand, one thousand, one, oh, five. Fifty, 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 fifty. Okay, 15, 15, not bad, not bad. If you don't know, me and Crane Machine, we meshed together really nicely. My parents were in a bowling league, I was in a bowling league, so we were always at the bowling alley. There was Crane Machine at the bowling alley. And when my parents were bowling, they wouldn't want me to bother them, so they would just give me so many quarters. And everyone at the bowling alley would just give me so many quarters because I was just this cute little child. I became a professional at the Crane Machine. I would win every single time. Okay, three. <laughs> wow. You those in the box tonight? Yeah. I got three rubber duckies in one little claw. My first try. Like I said, me plus crane machine. Yeah. 
15 again, are you serious? Oh, 30, come on. Yes, bitch. Just, just, just one more. Hunter's trying to juggle the rubber ducks that we won in the crane machine. I'm judging really hard. He just can't do it. <laughs> it's hard. Eva picks them up and immediately just starts perfectly juggling the rubber duckies. I couldn't even juggle two. How do you do it? What do you mean? I just do it. I just can't. I can't explain. I, I like to grab. I grab too much. We all ran out of our money and we went to the automated ticket machine and won our prizes. I personally won a french fry guy and a slappy thing. When you throw it at the wall and it sticks, I got one of those. That was so thrilling and exciting. You want to just pick up your phone? Oh. I'm telling you, I just end them up. I yeah, just, honestly. Yeah. I would have honestly just left it. These ducks are going to watch over me as I sleep. We're going to the springs. Today, Bridget has joined us, and for most of the day, we did yet again nothing. But for dinner, we all decided that we wanted to go to Disney Springs and eat at Guy Fieri's chicken place called Chicken Guy. Springs, went into the Coca-Cola store. In the Coca-Cola store, there's multiple levels to the store. And as you climb up and go to these higher levels, there's the Coca-Cola bear mascot right there waiting for you to take a picture with him. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> he was terrifying. Okay, time. Smile. <laughs> Who needs horror nights? Nothing mean. That is beautiful. Nothing mean. Okay, here you go. Bye. I honestly thought it was robotic until halfway through. <laughs> oh my god. I'm like, oh wait, there's a person. It's so scary. <laughs> We left Disney Springs and decided to go mini golfing at this little Disney themed mini golf resort. And me personally, I've had a little experience. I was on the varsity high school golf team, but mini golfing is a whole different spectrum. There's so many different obstacles in the way, so many things that could go wrong. Beautiful. I want to go last. I'm hoping that I win. We tee in the middle of Mick. Yeah, we tee in Mick. the middle of Mick. <laughs> Good one. Oh, no. uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're just putting around, having so much fun, counting up our scores at the end of each hole, and Eva was keeping track of all of our scores. None of us knew who was gonna be the winner until the very end. Okay! Oh my god, so one bitch. Ha-ha! <laughs> hole in one, baby. Well, I'm out. Come on. Hey. <laughs> Second hole in one I achieved. Yeah. Tonight's Florida Swamp is sponsored by whatever this mini golf place is called.
Oh. Hole in one twins. Ah! <laughs> we finished all 18 holes, and Eva's counting up the scores. She has right. tallied up the votes. <laughs> the votes. <laughs> <laughs> on the outside, I'm like, I'm like chill, but on the inside, I'm like, I need to win this game. In fifth place, we have. Tori! Woo! So we got 62. Nice. In fourth place, we have Eva with 59. Really? In third place, we have Bridget with 58. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Another two. Oh shit. I made it to the top two. It's me and Hunter left. And I really have no clue who's gonna win this game. And the winner <laughs> of the goddess <laughs> boss competition. <laughs> 2020 is. I'm just sitting there, like waiting for Eva to say who won. And the winner is Tyrell. Oh ah! shit! Yeah! yeah! My body just releases with joy. Yeah, you got 50. Hunter got 52, and Ma uh. was 53. <laughs> you guys both oh, won the par in total. Shit. My golf skills came to the test, and I won. We're good. We're great. Well, good game. Good game. Good game. I feel proud. We finished our night off with Twisty Treat. <laughs> I got this blue raspberry ice cream with cookie dough chunks in it. So good. Good night. <laughs> It is 7.30 in the morning. Getting up this early, it's, it's a bit of a crime for me. We're all up and ready to go to Animal Kingdom. We wanted to get a head start and get to Animal Kingdom early. I go to the fridge to get my daily Red Bull, and my Red Bulls are gone. I was a little upset. I just grabbed the water bottle and went on with my day. To my surprise, I was actually the first one ready to go, which rarely happens. No mirror today. Animal <laughs> <laughs> Me, Bridget, Tori, and Hunter all head out to the car to go to Animal Kingdom. It's incredibly foggy outside. It's so foggy around, it doesn't even feel like you're in the real world. in the animal kingdom it's like a whole different world in there you walk in you feel like you're in this foresty jungle the whole climate has changed it's insane good morning good morning where are we animal kingdom in the ride for flight of passage the ride 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 did i what did i say it's an attraction ma'am Time, we're hungry, so we stopped to get these bowls. They're these noodle bowls with roast beef, boba pearls, with this special sauce. It's so good. Yummy.
When I say that it's hot outside today, it's so hot outside today. We're all sweating, waiting in line for these rides. Luckily, Eva met up with us there and came prepared. We had wet cloths around our necks. We had little motorized fans. We were like the victorious episode where they were locked in the RV. Why do you think I have a pool? <laughs> Once you get on the ride, it's so fast that the wind is just blowing in your face and it feels so amazing. <laughs> basically done everything that we wanted to in Animal Kingdom, so we left and did absolutely nothing the rest of the day. We did get Chipotle again though for dinner. We wake up and go to this place nearby our condo called Maple Street Biscuit Company. We decided to go there for a nice little brunch. Good morning. <laughs> it's 1 p.m. <laughs> I got the waffles. Hunter and Tori got these biscuit things with chicken. It tasted magnificent. As this trip is slowly coming to an end, we had to say goodbye to Tori and take her to the airport. <laughs> Tori's dramatic leave. <laughs> Come on, hair flip, hair flip, Tori. Icon. Bye, Tori. As everyone's leaving and our group's getting even smaller, it kind of hits that the yearly trip tradition is coming to an end. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye guys. Fly safe and have drive safe. Say bye. Bye. It's so hot here in Florida. We need to get out of here to somewhere cooler. Maybe somewhere like Nashville. <laughs> 